Hello YouTube, my name is Trunky, here with the Road to Excellence. I'm playing in the object one, uh, sorry, not the one, 416, tier 8 Soviet medium tank of the, uh, well, rare turret line, I guess, except for the tier 10 and the tier 6, but the tier 7, 8 and 9 are all rare turreted. And I am platooned up with Holy Kill 666 who is playing his uh, VK4502A grinding towards the VKB his first tier 9 tank and we are on the airfield map and well it's been a, lo a long time since I've played the object 416 I was uh, not really sure uh, what to play I think I was uh, playing a lot of different tanks uh, mainly because I was grinding for tokens for the T44 100 mission and I ended up platooning with my friend because his highest tank is a VKA so I was kind of forced to play uh, with the tier 8 tank and now I chose the object 416 for that because um, I do not have any heavy tanks to support uh, my friend. Uh, well, I do, but not any tanks that I need to grind for the next tank. And I always like to progress further down the line. So I'm going over here into the front of the mountains and, uh, well, the little thingy. And, well, I decide to go back because I don't really have the gun depression to do anything useful up there. And, and then mostly you just want to snipe around, but I find it hard to find out what to do with the medium tank on this map. Normally it's just sitting a bit around the hill, but I don't know. And there's this low high HP Type 59 over on that hill. He tries to get a shot in me, but he derps his shot and I'm like, well, I'm pretty lucky and... Uh, uh, well, I should not try my luck more often. In the meantime, I am chatting with my friend Holy Kill who is uh, having some trouble with this tank I'm gonna show you in a bit what's going on uh, but firstly I was trying to find a way to get back to my friend because he needed my help and you'll see in a bit what's uh, going on over there so I'm trying to not get spotted uh, really paranoid about the type 59 on the hill but thankfully it not, did not see me so I can quickly go and well the main problem is that my friend flipped his VK over and our allies the T29 uh, is not helping him now this was pretty funny because I was like well okay how the heck did you manage to do this but uh, oh well even the A43 is not doing anything to help over here they're just being a bunch of selfish uh, morons. Especially the uh, T29, because like, they're tier 7s and it's like, hey, it's a tier 8 heavy, you know, the only top tier heavy tank we have. And you're not even helping the, him get back on his tracks. In the meantime, I am trying to get a shot at a WZ-111 if he manages to uh, get around the corner, but he doesn't. And finally, I flip my friend back on his tracks. And it turns out the WZ is not close enough to go around the corner, so I just go around, see the OI, easy pen through the turret. And I quickly reload my gun. This tank has an amazing uh, rate of fire for the alpha damage it has. Very deadly DPM. I think it's the best DPM of uh, all tier 8 mediums. Easily could be. And, well, it should be because with the limited turret traverse, you just can't play like any medium tank. And it kind of becomes like a tank destroyer every now and then, especially because of the low, uh, low size of the uh, tank. Just look, I just, including my turret, I just barely am a bit higher than the hull of the T29. Meanwhile, on the other side, there is a Jagdtager 8E8 who... Uh, Gets spotted and shoots me. Thankfully, he bounces somewhere, I think, on my front. Uh, I was 
kind of surprised for that. So, well, that's what you can. Ha well, that's what can happen every now and then. So I try to go for the lower plate on this Yak Tiger I-88 now that he's aiming the other way. He is tracked, so he cannot aim at me. Try for another shot into his lower plate and it pans right away. Now the T-29s are trying to carry as best as they can over here, even though they are mid-tier. And I think they're doing a pretty decent job. And meanwhile, my friend uh, in the VKA, Holy Kill, is having some trouble. He is... Uh, well, just trying to snipe duel with the enemy tank. My ammo rack with WZ111 here, I think. Was an ammo rack? I think, yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's definitely an ammo rack. Uh, but it, I don't think it needed to be an ammo rack. Uh, I think a regular damaging shot would have killed him. I, I'm not sure, but yeah. Doesn't matter. Try to go for multiple shots on the lower plate. Now the Yak Tiger 88 shoots back and misses me. Meanwhile, uh, sadly enough, Holy Kill gets killed by the AMX 5100, which uh, has a deadly gun that can just wipe out an enemy tank in a few seconds. And well, he noticed that, and I tried to warn him that he shouldn't go forward too much because the AMX is hiding over there with some support of the Scorpion G and the Type 59, even though the Type 59 is the same one as earlier, so he is still on that low HP, but he's been playing it pretty carefully uh, the whole match after he got damaged, which is something you should obviously do. Now, I almost forgot about this VK over here on the other side. Um, hard to get a nice aim on that tank because it's all hidden over there behind bushes and got some rocky cover. And so far the team score is going kind of even, uh, but I haven't done that much and, you know, slowly uh, the match is progressing further towards the end. Uh, the enemy Type 59 is now at the south flank helping and slowly uh, our tanks are dying and now it's uh, a tie when it comes to score. So I try to help here, see the Type 59, shoot a shell and kill him, which is... Uh, you know, a pretty uh, bit deadly-ish tank gun. And there I've aimed at the cupolas of that AMX46, uh, but I'm not willing to risk hitting the Super Pershing, so I just hope the Super Pershing manages, and he does, killing the AMX46. 46. Uh, yeah, he's fin he finished him off, and... Um, that basically means we have the upper hand now but not all is finished because there's still that deadly AMX 5100 and uh, Scorpion G as well which has that deadly alpha damage gun and I don't know my shells are pretty low actually seven shells left and I'm not sure what to do but my mind goes to uh, trying to help that T29 because he's the heavy tank uh, with still a lot of HP so if I would be together with him uh, encountering the 5100 would have more trouble clipping us both together so that's kind of my plan here to just be here together with the T29 so the 5100 will not be able to kill us both uh, giving up us uh, the upper hand when the AMX is reloading that's kind of my goal over here. Uh, we both have around 1000 HP. But the T29 is the heavy tank and he has that turret. So if he manages to hold down, he could even bounce a few shots out of that AMX 5100. But the AMX 5100 is still, you know, uh, laying a bit back, trying to snipe from cover because with the... An auto loader, you can attack, but only if you are sure to be able to uh, get back and cover somewhere safely uh, when reloading. I'm not very sure if the AMX is already on reload. And there's still that Scorpion G, which I am going pretty risky. Now I get the rear of his turret over here. But I am pretty sure that the AMX still has a few shells left. Meanwhile, I forgot that VK is still up in the rear of me. 
So I'm trying to shoot. Uh, I see the AMX has gone off the hill, so that's good. It's not a threat to me at least. And I try to shoot again, and the VK gets destroyed with the quick little shot of my gun. It just shows the uh, good side scraping capabilities of this tank using its low profile to avoid getting any shots in return. Uh, it's something I really like. It's just like a tier 8 a ELC AMX, which I've shown in previous videos. Just so small and stealthy, and just because you are so small, you are just so much harder to hit. Especially when you just get around the corner like that, trying to pop stuff uh, quickly. I mean, you do not have a fully rotatable turret, but the gun arc is very wide, so you are still uh, very easily able to uh, side scrape and uh, just shoot anything quickly. Especially because it has a rear mounted turret as well. And the turret can be trollish at times as well, so that helps even more. Now I am loading to HE because I see that Scorpion is over there and he is on low HP, so I pop an HE shell right through his turret, dealing enough damage to insta kill him. 394 HP and 420 alpha damage with HE, so that was an easy pen, and right away I was just very happy with that kill good shell usage now there's the AMX 5100 now I just wanted to make sure not to screw up did not have the gun depression and then at that moment the AMX 5100 tracks me and I thankfully kill him and now the Hellcat I have no idea what he tried doing there but he just went out in the open I mean I was not I wasn't even a one shot for him so I I really don't get what he was trying to do over there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he just gave up on hope and um, wanted to uh, end the match quickly for him. I don't know, something like that. But it gave me six kills either way. And actually the enemy AMX 5100 had six kills as well. And I had two AP shells left. I was pretty happy with this result, especially just the quick timing of the Hellcat getting in my aim and being able to finish him off that quickly shell after shell. Now here are the end battle results and well it was an ace tanker match so I was very happy with that. Uh, Bruiser, Amorak, Thingy, Demolition Expert, yes Duelist and Fire for Effect together with the Top Gun medal for getting six kills. Um, yeah what can I say it was a good match but uh, I did a lot of waiting in this match, just driving around, waiting for the right opportunity to uh, take out those uh, targets that were a big threat, being able to take me out with these if I uh, approached the AMX 5100 uh, with, uh, without caution and the same for the Scorpion G. Now I must say the enemy AMX 5100 did very good dealing 4,616 damage, um, which is a lot more than my 3,745 damage. Uh, nevertheless, uh, he got Fire for Fact Bruiser Duelist, High Caliber Top Gun, and the Tank Sniper. Uh, he got the High Caliber for doing the most damage, so kudos to him. He did get extra XP for that, and, well, he was just in trouble when uh, trying to get on uh, the attack uh, I was just trying to stick close to the T29 so when the AMX was gonna be low HP uh, or something like that or on reload I was just trying to strike at the right moment and it worked my plan kind of worked out and it gave me a win I don't think I uh, well deserve well not I think I did deserve it but you know the AMX he just did so much more damage so if it, uh, how am I supposed to say that? Like he deserves a top gun obviously way more than I do be just because he carried so much more than I did. And well, basically that is uh, my phone as well as you can hear. Somehow it's not muted. But yeah, um, just the AMX kudos to him for the, God damn. Now killing the scorpion was something else, um, he was low HP at the end as well, but 
just using that HE shell was pretty much the best thing I could do because let's face it every glass cannon has that weakness of just being able to be dealt with when you shoot an HE shell at the moment of being low HP but not low enough for AP to kill but low enough for HE to be killing below because you know often you wouldn't even expect it you're like mainly thinking about the regular alpha damage of the AP shells but uh, you know often you can expect you know like if if the, if you know that the enemy uh, knows that you are low HP then you can expect some HE uh, when you're playing something like a Scorpion G or a Ramatel Borsic Weapon Traeger or a Weapon Traeger Panzer IV or a Grill 15 and probably a few other tanks uh, like a Nashorn or you know probably some others as well reminds me of one match uh, of the Dutch Ranger a friend of mine that played with this M103 and killing uh, a scout tank with HE as well for the extra alpha. Um, well, anything interesting? Not really. I did, all, I did all my damage within 300 meters. Didn't do any assisting damage, and well, it was just mainly my patience that saved the match. Uh, apparently, it was my daily double and. It was actually a daily triple and I had a booster active so that I think I had a booster active at least. So that was 5,837 XP. Uh, yeah, what can I say? It was an ace tanker match and that's all I can say. Ace tanker matches are always worth showing uh, for me at least. So yeah, people uh, mainly like seeing ace tanker gameplay as far as I know. And uh, that's what I am happy to show you. So I hope you enjoyed. I apologize for a bit of a weird commentary. I just got out of work pretty uh, tired and stuff. And I'm uh, starting to get back into focusing on making videos. So this is uh, kind of a weird commentary-ish today. I should just stop talking and... Uh, so just watch a different video, I guess. That's where I will be giving probably better commentary than this because I'm just not getting the right words out right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.